Hi, I'm going to speak a little bit today about a product that I bought from Seagate, the Seagate Ultra Portable Drive for the Mac, and I bought it for the purpose of using it as an external hard drive backup. Turns out it's actually a really good product, but I had some very serious problems with it. When I set it up, it worked just fine. But as I continued to use it, I discovered that having the external hard drive connected to my Mac was interfering with my ability to log on to the internet via my home network Wi-Fi. I tried all kinds of solutions electronically in the computer, settings, etc., to no avail. Uh, I searched the internet. I went to Seagate website, didn't find a solution there. And then finally this morning I found a, a blog from 2008 that gave me a suggestion and that suggestion led to the solution. First of all I want to show you how it works, the symptoms and then the solution. And it turns out the solution is ever so simple. Okay, the product looks like that comes with two adapters, one for USB and one for FireWire. And the one that I was having problems with was the FireWire. When I use the hard drive as a backup with Time Machine, it worked just fine. Time Machine was initiated. It's been recording all my hard drive over the last several days. That function has been working just fine. However, when I close that and I tried to use my web browser, Safari, I'll click on that and I get a screen that says I'm not connected to the internet. However, if I go through that same process and I take this hard drive and I move it off to the side back here, it turns out that it works just fine. Let me give you a better demonstration of that. Close it. I'll bring this over here. I'm going to click on it. Click, click. It's stalled out, but as soon as I move this, once more, Click on Safari, works fine when this is over here, put it over here, click on Safari, doesn't work, it's locked up as you can see by the bar up here, and as soon as I move this, it works fine. So it turns out there is some RF being radiated from the unit that interferes with the Mac's ability to connect with the internet. It's an odd problem probably unique, but I thought I'd share it with the YouTube world in case anyone else has run up against the wall like I did. I couldn't find a solution anywhere until I found that hint back in, from a blog back in 2008. Thanks. Have a good day.